Hey and how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the John Gray Show. Talking to everybody about, of course, One Punch Episode 6. And what is going on in Episode 6? Well, apparently for Episode 6, um, yes. Saitama pretty much sort of has been doing his normal thing, you know, sitting around watching the news, waiting, waiting for big shit to happen. However, you know, Genos came in and told him, was like, yeah, C-Ranks, they're not necessarily supposed to be doing that. C-Ranks are supposed to be out uh, associating with with the crowds and everything thing, and stopping minor crimes. Because if they do that and they gain popularity, then they'll upgrade to a, to a rank to a rank B. And then that's man where they don't have to do that anymore. Then, they're, then, they, then they go on way more missions. If a C-Rank is not doing that after about like a week then they pretty much get 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 uh, kicked out of the um of the association so uh so of course Saitama pretty much wants to leave but Genos wants to fucking go with him so Saitama gives him a goal you don't you don't need to come out and fight people with me what you need to do is that you need to focus on trying trying to become the number one S ranked um, a fucking member and shit. So of course, Genos tries to fucking do that. In the meantime, Saitama's out running around looking for trouble. But in the process of that, his he's kicking up wind and shit. So of course, so so of course, is really bothering people. But and that's when he runs into Sonic. And of course, as he's walking down the street, Sonic does his normal Sonic shit of trying to attack him from behind, and he eats his fucking sword. <laughs> of course. And then that's when Tank Top Tiger. Yes, that is his motherfucker's name, Tank Top Tiger. A big muscle dude who wears, who has streaks in his hair, wears like a tiger stripe tank top. Runs over and talks to Saitama. And of course, you know, Saitama is like just staring at his stupid ass. It's like, come on, man. I don't got time, man, for your shit. I'm, I'm a hero too. Just leave me the fuck alone. I'm, I'm looking for trouble, you know. And of course, you know how like one of those like uptight Japanese girls are who are always like, or at least like for one of these animes, who was like, it's her time over everybody else's. It's like, fuck you, of course. And of course, that's that's when Sonic steps in and says, fuck it, I'm gonna like just fuck everything up because apparently nobody here can 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 enough fucking stop me, especially if you're all C ranks anyway. I mean, like, if anything, I saw it more as like his. His way of doing what Genos does, of sort of saying that Saitama is stronger than than you. If you can't stop my fucking attacks, then hey, you ain't worth worth shit. Or man, your fucking hero title, of course. So you know he goes on goes on a rampage, and I believe he pretty much allows himself to do this. Or at least like I, or at least I want to believe he did that, so that Saitama could pretty much take him out, put him in jail, and then his rent goes up a little bit. And of course, that is what happens. He take he take um, he takes a man. And of course, it, of course, his rank goes up a little bit. However, on the flip side of this, it feels like some actual story actually finally crept its way into one um, uh, into One Punch, because apparently, one of these monsters came out of I, I don't know where, but apparently there was a rumor going going around that there are powerful monsters, S class monsters that are meeting up, like in the town. Um, uh, I believe like in um, um, in City Z, I believe that 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 they're slowly meeting up, and they're all about to join like a organization and everything. And from how it sort of seems though, is like the monsters want to get recognition, or at least like the more powerful monsters, they want to get recognition, like how I believe like how the more powerful heroes are, because because that's what they want, and that sort of seems to be their goal, which really is pretty. It's not all that bad in terms of a goal and what uh, and uh, and what they want to do, but the question is though is that how are these monsters not necessarily going to pull that off? I don't necessarily know, but you know it is it is a very interesting thing to sort of take in though. But honestly, from that though, of um, um of uh, of course he does manage to take out two of the A class, but he also runs runs into Saitama, who pretty much does a wonderful display or leaving like a calling card to fucking nip this rumor in the bud well well now make it stronger for the heroes and weaken it up a little bit for the monsters because once he destroys this little seaweed monster kid thing i don't know he destroys him and then takes him home and eats his hair of course because his hair is food (laughs) 
but he does destroy a fucking building and shit, scaring most of the A and S classes. And this is, I believe, a character who's... I believe that we do run into one character who, who does seem pretty interesting. A psychic girl named Tornado who pretty much, I believe, like most S classes, she's getting pretty fucking bored with not having to deal with any of the problems so far. And she wants to actually get out there and, you know, work on some shit because she really wants to fight. But, you know, nobody can stand up to her psychic powers. But pretty much that is how this episode sort of plays out and that is pretty much what i got to say about it please tell me what do you think about it down there in the comment section i'll catch you guys on next john grave show please keep watching man keep keep watching anime keep playing video games i'm out